Hey guys, welcome to another Ray Channel video with your boy, The Real Deal. So, we're going to be doing the Griffin on hard on floor 90 of the Doom Tower. Um, this is my team, Jareg, Drex, Ninja, Seal and Brogany. So I know we've got four legendaries in here, but you got Login Reward. If you're playing at the time, you'd have Ninja and Drexstar, who's available for 3 3 and Brogny, who's a fusion champion. So let's just get straight into it. So what I found with this boss is that Brogny is the, uh, the actual key to doing this. Um, his um, shields not being able to be stripped and the healing that they do is what will carry you through this boss. Um, there's a ninja is completely replaceable. It's just he's one of the better or one of the best champions for doing insane damage on him. Um, I used to have actually Rotos in here and I've taken him out and put Ninja in and Ninja's actually faster. Um, obviously Rotos is also a good option though because um, he's got good survivability and he does hit hard and he doesn't do HP burn like um, Ninja which is kind of a disadvantage but also an advantage so a bit of a weird one but it does work. Uh, Jareg um, I'm pretty sure I've got him in a uh, stalwart set um, which helps decrease AoE damage to him and also he will be putting out uh, ally protection which is really important and also decrease um, attack on the griffin. Seal's just in there to um, heal. Um, sometimes she does land her decrease um, speed as well which is really useful on the griffin. Um, yeah it really is just there for healing and reviving. And then Drexstar, um, yeah, his HP burn actually does a lot of damage to the boss as well, so really useful to have. Um, yeah, and basically with Griffin, the whole aim of it is you just want to do it as quick as you can. Um, the more turns he has, the more chance he has of killing you. So you need to take him down before he builds up his stacks, otherwise you are going to wipe. So I'm just going to let this play out, um, disappear, uh, enjoy some music, and I'll speed it up for you. Disclaimer, no speed it up was needed. Okay, well, that was a really quick run. Uh, 2 minutes 48 seconds, not bad at all. Um, and look at Drexstar, 1.6 million. He actually outperformed Ninja, I can't believe it. Um, yeah, incredible. And the healing as well from Seal and Brogny, really decent. And also, I guess the other thing is that you don't see is that Brogny, um, obviously, with his shields, 30, you know, 30,000 damage. Um, taken away from shields as well, so really useful. So let's just have a look at the champions. So let's have a look at Drexar first. Life steal and perception. And that perception gear is so good because you can craft it, you can get some really tasty stuff. And yeah, so good. So defense gloves, HP chest, speed boots. HP ring, defense amulet, and a uh, resistance banner. Um, if you haven't got gear that's as good as mine, you can um, opt for um, accuracy banner instead. Let's have a look at his total stats. 57k HP, 3.7 defense, 207 speed, and 312 resistance and 330 accuracy. Masteries. 
very very standard build and yeah with Wallmaster um not Wallmaster Giant Slayer over Wallmaster then we got Ninja so my Ninja I actually used for my unkillable team on Clan Boss so he's got pretty decent stats 35k HP 4.1k HP 221 speed 106 crit rate 217 crit damage which I would like to be higher and then 206 accuracy so he's quite stat hungry so relentless set and a broken set crit damage gloves attack chest and speed boots I'm guessing attack ring uh, crit damage amulet which I could actually replace now and an accuracy banner and these masteries are just special ones for uh, my unkillable team for the clan boss so next we've got Brogni in a guardian set and immortal he has got HP gloves HP chest and speed boots I apologise for this, it's so annoying. Every time I click on a ring, it takes about a flipping year to load. So, HP ring, nice triple roll there. HP neck and HP on the banner. 85k HP, 2.2 defence, 235 speed, 101 crit damage and 131 accuracy. I don't know why I said crit damage because crit damage isn't really that important. Masteries, um, unfinished. <laughs> um, bit of accuracy, increasing his shield, trying to speed him up, and then cycle for his abilities, and also increase his healing and make his shields last longer. He also has block debuffs as well and something else which I can't remember. And then this is just sort of what I've done so far on defense, I probably could put him in um, counter attack, but I just haven't decided what I wanted to do with him yet. And so we've done Rector, no, sorry, we've done Rekstar, Ninja, Brogni, Seal. So my Seal is just built for Doom Tower and clearing waves. So stun set speed, HP gloves. Accuracy chest, speed boots, defense ring, defense amulet, and accuracy banner. 61k HP, 2.8 defense, 211 speed, and 355 accuracy. Masteries, um, HP. And then sort of improving her healing, trying to get a decreased cooldown so she uh, gets more stuns out there and more chance of landing her stuns. And also uh, the stuns are from her abilities but also the gear. And so we've got Pearson Presence as well. Yep. And now last but not least, um, I'm trying to remember who the fifth champion is that we use. Um, Seal, Rogni, Ninja. Who who was the fifth champion? Jareg. Yeah, so, um, yeah, really helpful as well to have a stalwart on him. And perception as well. So HP, gloves, accuracy, chest, speed boots. HP ring, HP amulet, and resistance banner. So mine is actually built for um, the eternal dragon, but he also is able to fill this slot as well. So his stats are 65k HP, 2.7 defense, which could be higher, 207 speed, and 292 resistance, and 355 accuracy. Uh, Masteries, just a very sort of standard build, sort of almost like a clan boss build. In fact, yeah, 
it is pretty much a clan boss build. So just improved accuracy, um, and then just trying to get some better stats. Everlasting gift as well, useful, and trying to land his decrease attack as well. And then just your standard dungeon boss build. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've had a good time and learned something new. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care for now, guys. Peace.